And we're helping a homeowner today uh, do a flush beam up in the ceiling. And they want to, there used to be a wall here, and they want to take that out and open up between the rooms. Uh, the owner will be here in a little bit to help us out. He wanted to get involved and do it himself. Roberto, we're in Roberto's house, and um, one of the problems that we had with this project was Roberto asked the contractor if this wall that used to be here was load-bearing, and the contractor said he didn't think so. The homeowner began to take the wall down, and the second story dropped about two inches, and that's when he called us. Uh, as an engineering firm to, uh, hey, what can I do here? My house is coming down. Appears this is load-bearing. I'm in trouble, so we're here to fix that. All right, today's, today's effort with this, with this opening up this uh, room is a flush beam approach. So if you look at this up here, this used to be the old header. Uh, so essentially the ceiling came over and then there was this drop uh, drywall drop and then it went up and it closes up the room. The owners are interested in, and asked us if we could solve this situation with uh, can we keep the ceiling flush to here and go up and so what we're doing uh, what we're doing today is a flush beam approach. A drop beam is what used to be here and you can see the remnants of the drop header drop beam which is you know there's a drop the, the supports below we're actually going to recess that beam up into the floor so they have this real clean flush look. So that's what we're up to today is a flush, a flush beam approach. All right, so we are in the basement of directly below the, uh, the removal of that bearing wall upstairs, and we're checking load path to foundation. So this is a common mistake, is all the work upstairs is done correct, but the load path to the foundations wasn't uh, taken care of. So, now, right above this, right here in the basement is a beam that used to support that bearing wall that we're removing, opening up that room upstairs, and we're creating another duplicate beam up there, but now we've spread that continuous load that used to be on this beam. We're now making point loads, so we're in the basement checking load path. And so we, knew, we know we have new point loads directly above this. Common mistake is the... the the void space between the, the ceiling of the basement and the floor above, we need to make sure it's full or blocked out so that load path can find its way to columns, which we can see here, down to a foundation. So this is a common mistake that we see is people don't make sure that it's fully blocked so that new point load doesn't have a load path to foundation. So we confirm that it's in good shape. We don't have to add anything in the basement in this case, but this is always a concern that we have. So the project today is basically remove a wall, the wall between the kitchen and the living room. And uh, we wanted to do that uh, to open up the kitchen and be able to put a bar there uh, because the kitchen was kind of small. So uh, we, needed, we needed that space. Uh, we brought in a, a general contractor and they told us that uh, it was not a load-bearing wall and that we could demolish it. So uh, my girlfriend, my kids and I decided to just do the demolition ourselves. We demolished the, the half wall that was there. And uh, then two days later, we noticed that uh, we, we, have a, we have a pantry uh, next to that area. 
uh, we we tried to open the cabinet the door and uh, we noticed that it uh, the the top uh, cabinet door wouldn't open because it was actually rubbing against the ceiling and that's when we noticed that uh, you know the ceil the ceiling was actually sagging down was was uh, coming down so we uh, uh, called level engineering uh, that was recommended by a friend uh, and they uh, Scott came over to to the house looked at it and he said no no this is definitely a load bearing wall and we need to do something about it so uh, here we are kind of like at the end of, of the project and it's looking way better I'm I'm feeling uh, much better about it we we actually had uh, moved uh, because our bedroom is right on top of the kitchen so we had actually uh, uh, put a two by four uh, to reinforce that in the meantime and we actually uh, my girlfriend was very scared about uh, you know waking up in the middle of the kitchen one day so we had to move the bed uh, away from there so uh, now that this is fixed we uh, we we are, we're feeling much better and we're gonna sleep much better tonight all right so here we are this is the uh, the goal of the homeowner is to have this view now, now originally there was a wall through here and the homeowner could not see his great view of his lake and uh, the new beams in flush beam and uh, thanks Robert construction services uh, tell us what you did well what we did is uh, we put in a couple of new LVLs here to support it we uh, we went ahead and put in some uh, new hangers to support the roof load and the, uh, the load on the up upstairs and we went ahead and put in some new uh, structural beams over here to support the new LVLs yep we put new columns new studs new columns. in to point the point loads and and we have a floor and a roof above, and those are now hangered into the new flush LVL, and, uh, and it's all opened up. Yeah. Thank you. All right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> that, was that corny? Do we need to redo yeah, that? No, no. <laughs> he's like, he's getting, you'll edit it. Yeah, I edited it. <laughs> all right. Awesome.